uh, this is the death of lulls, <laughs> and and I, it's this is not even though it says iWire Pulse, it's not actually iWire Pulse yet. This is like a sneak peek of what will be. So I'm going to play some of the things that you'll see. And uh, if you're on Nepa TV right now, you're not going to see those things. But what you will see is the behind the scenes stuff that we do while stuff is being played. So like I'm about ready to hit the intro for the show. And while I hit the intro for the show, we're going to keep talking on Nepa TV. So, so be sure you switch back and forth between here and Nepa TV. And here is my personal Facebook page as well as Liberty Principal page as well as iState TV. That is if Live Leap worked right. If Live Leap did not work right, I'm only on my personal Facebook page. And Live Leap, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna renew this contract. So no, they sound, they sound pretty bad. What? Has it has it worked yet? I have no idea. Yeah, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm live on my Facebook page. So now oh. I'm, I'm going to play the two-minute warning here. That's what we're, they're called. So while I do the two-minute warning, I'll be doing promotions for the show. I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. Fear is a little death that brings total obliteration. I will face my fear. I will permit it to pass over me. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Fear is the mind the killer. Fear is the mind the killer. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Fear is the mind the killer. Nameless, unreasoning, unjustified terror. Fear is the mind the killer. With paralyzed needed ever. Listening to iWire Pulse Tuesday with Bodhi Agora and Paul Gordon, featuring Lazilla, iPonder, and iScience. And now here are your hosts, Bodhi Agora and Paul Gordon. All right, all right, all right. This is iWire Pulse Tuesday. Welcome to. Well, it's not really iWire Pulse Tuesday. This is like a sneak peek of iWire Pulse. It's not it actually. I am actually. Uh, so while we were well, doing the two minute, I did my little promotions to a few groups, and I tried to share links with you. I'm going to share this first story with you, though. Yeah, but do it, them it, individually because you keep. Yeah, it seems like whenever I try to send. The, wait, wait, what the heck? Why send, is it sending it as an image? Images. All you're doing Why? is sending images. But I don't understand that. It's like, are you kidding me? Let me, no. let me try to copy this tech thing here. God, just this is cool. So we're, I'm going to send you the first story here, and this should work. There we go. So I I, I can't copy if I copy the cell, and I copy oh, it. Oh, Florida in, man! Oh, oh my yeah. God! Okay, as long as we have Florida man, we're okay. Good. Now before before we begin, I got a little bump that we're going to do, and you'll only hear the bump on the other pages on Nepa. But you want to do a, probably say something obscene. It's just a little. It's a little Lozilla bump. You want to do a bump? I'm doing yeah. a yo man, yo man, yo man. Don't don't swing like that no more. That's that's that was like two weeks ago. Oh, man. That's my personal face. Why did my personal Facebook just pop up? That's not All okay. Here we go. Welcome to this segment, which is Lozilla, which is also the end of Lozilla. Yeah, the end of Lozilla. Here. 
When you're battling the powers of coercive associations, it's nice to take a step back and remind yourself that yes, it's okay to have fun, to laugh at yourself, and hey, maybe even laugh at others now and then. Welcome to Lolzilla, Lols for the Lols. We well, well, we just had the uh, intro. Now we're going to the. Uh, now we're ready. I'm ready for you to do the first story. All right. I'm. Well, are you ready right now? Yeah, let's do it, Florida oh. man. Okay, so uh, Flor- Florida man caught in a sex scandal with many clean and ice penis. That's 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 an actual fact. Yeah, Rick Scott's go-to consultant caught in sex scandal involving Manny Quinn and Ice Penis, allegedly. Allegedly? Well, you have to add allegedly. Breaking news, breaking news, folks. And this one is going to make you feel a bit lifeless. So brace yourselves for today's idols. <laughs> You've you got such a beautiful reading style. <laughs> uh, this just in, hot off the presses. Get it hot because it's Florida. <laughs> uh, a Florida Manny Quinn, that's right, a Manny Quinn, not a man, through a Florida, though a Florida, let me just read this normal. I can't yeah, yeah, it. please do, because I mean, all uh, I hear is, I'm pooping in my diapers, I'm pooping yeah. in my diapers. Yeah. This just in, hot off the press is a Florida mannequin. That's right, a mannequin, not a man, though a Florida man is about to appear in this story and in a mannequin. Is suing a political <laughs> consultant, Florida man. Nice. That's right. I finally get to legit say Florida man in an I lulls Joshua. C- Wait, what? Oh, you got a parenthesis there. You got to work on your coding, man. I'm just kidding. About. Joshua code. Cooper. Florida man, Joshua Cooper. Okay, you, you put parentheses in weird places. But anyway, this guy, Josh, for Josh. sexually thing. On her. I don't know why you're assuming genders. Uh, she didn't fully indicate what her gender... How could she... It's I, a man. I see. I, I, you, you said about assuming genders, and I got that covered. You got that covered. I got it covered. Jesus Christ. Jesus had nothing uh, to do with this, trust me. Uh, no, 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 no. What shape was the ice thingy? It was peniscular. Yeah. Uh, the was, I would say it's pretty peniscular. Wait. So there's a lawsuit about this. Well, just just read it. Just come on. Just don't overthink it. Uh, the you know lawsuit. What? You're stems... just a pretty face hired to read. Shut up and read. That's fine. Uh, the lawsuit stems from a May 2017 incident in which Cooper allegedly, 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 don't want Cooper to come after my vast empire of nothing. So that's CYA right there. Yes, yeah, CYA is cover your A. Cover your at. Yeah. Nobody knows that. Nobody uses that. How many people that's out there on TV land know what CYA is? I think a lot of people know what TV. You know what? People that are older than 12. So that's a challenge for you. I get it. I get yeah. it. Okay, so whatever. This guy sexually aggressed upon the supermodel superstar mannequin using a phallic shaped block of ice. You know what phallic means, right? Just check. Yeah, it. it means dick. Peniscular. Peniscular. Peniscular, yeah. A peniscular thing, dude. It's a peniscular thing. How is there a lawsuit if there's no victim? Dude, just keep reading, okay? You're, you're yeah, totally ruining it. I don't understand. No it. victim, no crime. It's, you're it's, totally ruining it. Go on. All details of the incident remained concealed, much like the icicle, <laughs> at this time. For now, the womankin is not taught. Womankin. Womanikin. It's a womanikin, okay? It's a womanikin. I made that word up, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure somebody else did because it's not a big leap to do. Okay. Well, Joshua Cooper is considered to be the oppo research goon of the current governor of Florida. Florida man Rick Scott. Well, he is a man and he, he is. is from Florida. And Are you sure he's from Florida? Well, he's from Florida now. He's freaking lives. He's the freaking governor of Florida. I think that, that counts. He's from Florida. It doesn't mean he's from Florida. I don't want to hear... What you have to say with your little semantic magic voodoo? Magic voodoo. It's the semantic from... magic voodoo. Okay. I don't. I don't cotton to that. Okay. Well, the allegations could prove costly in his bid to remain on the payroll of Governor Rick Scott. So the Florida media is all a Twitter. Get it? Twitter. With the <laughs> you, you guys do get that. Way to right. get that uh, keyword in there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
What's more, even if the womanikin, 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 and Ryan Sandler said that Paul likes women's underwear. Uh, that's yeah, that's fair. Yeah, fair. Yeah, yeah. That's fair. Right. That's fair. Okay, I definitely so, don't like men's underwear. Hopefully, this is Florida, man. Oh, what's even more? The woman can isn't talking. There's an incriminating picture of the whole sorted movement moment. Again, oh. see the photo above that was originally posted. Oh, Where's you know, it? I should have put the. I don't know. I, you should have I, actually put the freaking picture in the article. I should have put the. Ah, you know what? I forgot to put. No. Oh, I did, wait. It's not, the, not at the top? Picture's not at the top? No, you have an ad. No, wait. That picture's got to be at the top. If you I have don't, ads. Did I forget to add the picture? You did not put the picture. I didn't put the picture in there. There is a picture, <laughs> but I didn't put it in. You know what? It's a metaphysical thing. It's metaphysically, metaphorically, it's there. You just right, have you want, to imagine it. Do you want to hear what Cooper said to the Florida media? Yeah, I do. I'm anxious. What, what, cause this it is, is not at all what it looks like. That was a photo one of. That was a photo one of my barbecue teammates took. That was a photo one of my barbecue teammates took. Oh my okay. gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That was our ice luge. It melted, so I was picking it up and throwing it over the fence there. But from the angle he took the picture oh, from, my teammates thought it looked funny and posted it online. You know. Yep. You know. Brand- you, I I gotta find this. I gotta find this picture. Yeah, this is awful. Ice penis. I'm typing Florida man ice penis. This is a big risk. <laughs> okay, come on. Where is it? Uh, maybe I have to add GOP. 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 Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. 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 Hold on. Hold on. If you're watching. Uh, okay. There you go. Uh, it's sloppy, but there it is. Okay. Uh, it's uh, It's right there. I'm going to. Click out of that, and it, 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 you you can't see it, but it's it's definitely. I, I mean, I don't know that it looks like what he describes. It looks like, and for the people, oh, Google, maybe I could send you this to you in uh, telegrams. See if you can do something with it, because this isn't this is breaking news, folks. This is. I mean, I understand that the Supreme Court ruled to, yesterday that. You know, you know, y'all can have guns. You just can't have them big bangy guns. They scare oh, us. what's wrong with that? <laughs> that's that's the picture that's 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 making the. No, I don't think it's a big. Well, yeah, you know, just read it and you'll you'll see what I have to say about it. There is absolutely nothing yeah, wrong with. Yeah, yeah, just read it. You'll see what I have to say about it. There's more. Re- There's more to the story, dude. Well, I gotta show the viewers. You gotta show the viewers. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm actually right now. People can see my Skype and all the people that are on my Skype. That's awesome. That's, That's great. <laughs> You're welcome, everybody. <laughs> so, he's just holding it up to the mannequin. There's no penetration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, just just you know, let the studio okay. audience, let the people decide. Let the people decide. Okay. So, yep. Random interesting factoid insertion time. Something you may have just learned but may have forgotten. The slogan for Cooper's Barbecue Cooking Team is getting it moist and keeping it there. That's that's the that's their literal slogan. And I thought that bared repeating at that precise... That's, that is perfect for a barbecue. Of course you want to keep the meat moist. Yeah, right? I mean, yeah. What if, truth be told, as far as the politics of this thing, the spreading of this month's old picture does appear to be politically motivated... There's not much to this photo, but in service of memes, Cooper and his teammates are doing yeomans. Yeomans? You don't know what yeomans mean? A yeoman is in like a yeoman? But you don't know what the phrase yeoman's work means? Like admirable good work? Come on, you people. What is wrong with you illiterate savages? You people. Have you no decency? Okay? Have you no decency? A dude menacing a woman akin with a nice penis, or it is what Cooper says it is, a photo snapped at an awkward time. Actually, it does look like it snapped at an awkward time. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't look like an awkward time. It lo- but it, does, it's, it, it doesn't look like it's an awkward time, but it doesn't look like a big deal. Oh, it's a dude and just note. clowning around. And, Come on. End note. End note. In case you're playing along and have actually read one of my eye before, no, the mannequin is not suing Cooper. So don't go looking for the court documents because there aren't any. Yeah, 
Yeah, and, and, and don't go trying to ruin my freaking story by saying, They're suing? They're suing? Oh! That's exactly yeah. how he sounds, by the way. That's that's actual fact right there. So I, I understand, by the way, that you had a, an accident that happened earlier today. I don't know if I you did. want to share that with uh studio audience. What did I do earlier? Your, your girlfriend was sharing this on Facebook. And what? it has something to do with, uh, what was it? Um, licking a part of the... F- oh. What was that? Tongue, 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 tongue punching the fart box. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. That's unfortunate. How'd that happen? I guess that for was, you that it, happens a it's lot. It's just a phrase. It was a phrase. That happens a lot for you though, right? No, it was a phrase. It's like a thing. It just, it just kind of, uh, you're just walking stop. around the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Accident, yeah, slip and fall. Right, and all of a sudden, yeah, or something like that. You know, one thing I'm gonna have to get the hang of. I I switch to like different views, and then I forget to change the views, so that it just stays on the one person while both people are talking. I'm gonna have to get used to that. I need a producer. I need somebody that is willing to dedicate their life for free to produce these shows so that I don't have to worry about changing scenes like I'm doing now. And uh, yeah. I will pay you in smiles. I'm willing yeah. to pay you in smiles. Mon- Monday will, through Thursday. Why don't we have one of the other co-hosts and we just do a rotation? No, nah, I couldn't do that. Because okay. cause the, the only co-hosts that know how to produce a show are you, me, and Niz. Mm-hmm. I can't. I uh, and Lou Sander. Lou, Lou Sander. By the way, hey, maybe we should talk a little bit about what the show's going to be about. You want to do that? Sure. Because you 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 you're in it. Yeah, I have no idea. You're on Tuesdays. I know I'm on Tuesdays. Today's Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> now, actually, we are we are not going to debut on Monday because my co-host for Monday is not going to be back, and I don't want to do the first Monday show. Without the co- Monday co-host, he's he's uh he's going he he's he's off to see family and he won't be back until like next Tuesday or so. He's not even in the country, so and so he won't he'll be out of pocket unfortunately. But next Tuesday is when we'll actually debut and we'll be debuting with this knucklehead, um, with uh, Mr. Bodhi Agora's. Did, by the way, did you please tell me that you want to be labeled as Bodhi Agora? Because otherwise, I got to go through a whole bunch of things and rechange things. And you yeah, that's fine. That's what I thought. I, I, I <laughs> yeah. especially for with how crude we're going to be and how awful it is. I don't want my name like Paul Gordon tied to it. Wow, I don't know. This is an excellent show. It's already. If you guys are watching now, you know the quality <laughs> that we're bringing to this affair. So I don't. I have little doubt that other people are are not thinking to themselves, "Holy crap, this is freaking amazing!" I it's freaking amazing. Although I'm just wondering, I I I, I do want to check something. These are not the kinds of things that we're going to be doing while we're actually doing the Lozilla. Well, or when we when we go official, but but I am doing an experiment. I want to see is this thing live streaming. On these other channels, on the Liberty Principal page and on iState, is it actually live streaming, or did it just share the video? Because if it just shared the video, it's like, the heck! Yeah, I, mean, I don't really yeah. care about that. Does I, any other studio audience have an understanding of what happened here? I don't even see it here. Liberty Principal. Yeah, it's not even on there. Yeah, we gotta figure that out. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to figure that out because if we can get that right, that's pretty cool. But Liberty Principal, no consent from the governor, and the I State Facebook page. That'll be really bad if I'm not even doing the I State page. That will be really sucky. So, oh, okay, nope, nope, no, 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 it's not on. So we're only on a pa and. My Facebook page, my personal Facebook page. That's that's what we're on. Okay, well, whatever. I don't care. We're still going to charge forward with the show. Yeah, we'll still keep going with the show. Oh yeah, no problem. Craig's checking the other pages, but uh, I think yeah, we, we check Craig. It's not there. the The only other place is uh, so we're on Nepaz. We're on the Nepaz. Or say, what was that? Was that you or me? Nepa TV. Nepaz. Uh, Nepazaza, David. Nepazaza. 
Uh, it's not, hey, did, it, when Melissa said OMG, I'm going to assume that Melissa was responding to the firebox. That's what I thought. She was yelling at me in the other room, delayed. Like, but I could tell when it hit because you're like, you better stop. That's pretty good. A little shout out, by the way, to Mitch. Um, you guys Mitch? remember Mitch? Mitch Mitchelson? Yeah, I miss Mitch. Mitch. I miss Mitch, too. He hates me. Aw, oh, Mitch doesn't hate you. Mitch is cool I, people, man. Mitch is, I, uh, I don't know if you're watching Mitch. I guess you can't. You're not on Facebook. But, uh, uh, I'm, uh. I'm actually going to be uh, posting an article that Mitch sent me from from a friend of his named Victor. I think huh? his name is Victor. It's a pretty cool article. I'll be posting oh, that is, tomorrow. Does he have a sock account? No, no not as far as I know. If he his does, then he's not telling me. That's kind of cold, dude. His now, friend Victor. You, you know how I, I, I talk to Mitch on Telegram and YouTube? That's it. And he doesn't show up much. But I actually see him more on YouTube than Telegram. <laughs> So that's a little strange. Okay, so uh, let's let's let do you do you want to do another Lozilla story or do you want to try to hit, head into I Ponderville? I Ponderville, we're going to we're going to talk about uh, how net neutrality is feminism. Sure, you want to do that? Yeah, that's that's let's pretty awesome, the, right? Okay, so so the meat, meat so what well, what we're going to do? Um, we're going to hit our our break. Our break, we're going to have commercial in two minutes of commercials. And then we have a second break, another two minutes of commercials, which is basically go to our network and do stuff. And also, one of the commercials, pay close attention, one of the commercials is yours. Well, it's a commercial for me. It's a commercial for you, yeah. And I, I do plan on making more commercials. And if there's any of you guys out there, and I know you and I like you, okay, I want to put that clarification out there. If I know you and I like you. And you have something that you want to put on our show. Uh, it would be great if you made the commercial yourself and I could play it. But otherwise, I could try to make you a commercial. But um, I'm happy to rotate commercials and promote other folks. I do video editing for 75 bucks an hour. I do WordPress sites for 50 bucks an hour. Jump change. If you need a WordPress site. so I will take crypto. I will take crypto, but only Bitcoin Cash, because Bitcoin Cash is the only real Bitcoin nah. now. Nah, man, I want Litecoin. Oh, you want? Oh, that's right. You're you're going you're going totally all. You're going all went, all, man. I went all in on Litecoin, man. I took all in all the Bitcoin, and I went to uh, Litecoin. Okay, so we're we're gonna continue to talk about the Litecoins on uh, the Facebook Napa page, but on mm -hmm. Paul's personal page. Uh, we're going to take a little bit of a break. We'll see you on the other side of the break with I Thunder. It's all fear and loathing in Stady Bun State, Paceland, but that does not need to be the case. What are the stories you're missing that might counter that fear and loathing? You'll find those stories and more at iState.tv, your home for news, views, podcasts, and more that exposes reality of power and share opportunities for tilting the balance of power towards individuals and free associations go to iState.tv now be sure to register on the site to get daily updates sent directly to your email if you want to think outside the box sometimes you have to wear outside the box all of your outside the box threads can be found at agora.threadless.com go to agora.threadless.com and find the right outside the box threads to fit your outside the box head that's agora.threadless.com go to the agora unless of course You are listening to iState.tv's iWire Pulse, your home for the edge of the pulse, where we expose the reality of power around you and the opportunity to change that reality to favor individuals and free associations. If you like this podcast, please be sure to go to pay.iState.tv and sign up to be a monthly iStater. And now, back to the show. 
And, the- <laughs> and, and welcome back. Welcome back. We're back now, dude. We're back. We're back. I mean, and we're we, back. We never left on Napa TV, although we're No, it's just it. like really confusing for everyone on Napa TV. Is it? I'd, What's yeah. it like on Napa TV? I don't see it when I go to I State. Uh, yeah, yep, you're right, That's... Caleb. It's not on there. It's it's not on there. Yeah. Yep. It 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 doesn't appear because I did the live leap thing, but I did I I'm sure I did something wrong. Although, okay, now it's I don't know. Okay. I, I I'm wondering if like what what maybe I didn't activate it. I have no idea. It doesn't matter. Let's just continue. What's what's this I ponder thing? We're gonna talk oh, about. Oh oh yeah yeah. Let me let me send you the link in the because <laughs> it. I didn't even read it, but I'm like, I oh. this is one of these things. I just I thought we would discover this uh, for ourselves. It's it's from City Watch, and the title is Why Net Neutrality Is a Feminist Issue. So. <laughs> We're going to go down that bunny trail Let's see where that takes us. That doesn't so, even make sense. So, Actually, it probably does. Oh, no. I sent you the picture again. Dang it. That's right. Why oh is it that it's like you, you got to copy the text? And if oh, are you kidding me? So Yeah, try copy link. Dude, dude, dude. They're not hot. They're not hot links. They're not hot in here. So I can't just do that. So, okay, so I sent it. So I'm going to give you a little bit, like 10 seconds to open this up and get ready because I'm going to play just the, I'm going to real quick, I'm going to play the bump for the iPonder segment. Nagging thoughts, trending debates in the Liberty community, and even random epiphanies are all fair game in iPonder, where ideas are given space to bloom. Fantastic. All right, and we're we're here on I Ponder, and did you open up the article, dude? You haven't sent it to me. <laughs> I, I thought I said, yeah, I did on uh, Telegrams. Oh no, I sent it to Mitch. Mitch, sorry. <laughs> Mitch is probably like, what the? What the Can I just find it on your page? It, no, I sent it. I sent it, dude. I sent it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Maybe I should share it in the in the in the comment section here too. That's probably a good idea. There, right. I shared it yes. in the I watch. Sh- Politics the- perspectives participation. Yes, I don't know what that means. So basically, why why net neutrality is a feminist issue? Let's let's it's just. I'm going to let the studio audience see what the image is that this looks like. The where is the website? Come on! Oh, there we go. There you go. There you go. That's what the image is. is keep the internet free. FCC have a heart. Keep the internet free. Okay, this is a complex issue. Yep. You have but, an emasculated man, and then you have a grumpy emasculated man. Yeah, and then there's like a couple of men that are really, really close, to looking like women. Is that wrong? Is that- no, it's not wrong. It's just different. It's just different. But uh, um, it, you know, it's a complicated. It's a complicated issue. I think it's a complicated issue. I don't think it's simple. Uh, I don't even have a, a full opinion on it. But uh, whenever anybody wants to walk up to me and say, "Keep the internet free," um, I'm oh, gonna, they already, uh, they, the first line of this net neutrality law prevents cable and phone companies from slowing down or speeding up websites, content, and applications that ride on their networks. Uh, it, that's not what net neutrality is about. Net neutrality is a price control. Is it? Yeah. I, 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 I honestly, I don't. How, how have you figured it out? Because I look at stuff and I'm like, oh, okay, that's what it means. And then I see other stuff. And I'm like, oh no, that's not what it means. What the heck is it? I, I, I don't even know. All it is is price control. So, so explain, explain what you know of net neutrality to the studio they audience before we get back it, to the feminist aspect. It prevents ISPs from charging based on websites or content that's how they say they can block it basically you need to pay more money for high bandwidth usage so say if you get a netflix package that streams a lot of content you're going to pay more money for that because you're taking up more bandwidth but i don't want to pay more money for that right so you're going to for you need to either find another supplier or take it up with them or 
basically have the government strong arm the company into doing what you want. And all they're doing is instead of breaking it down into individual packages based on uh, bandwidth usage and all that good jazz, they're already overpriced. But forcing them to charge one flat rate for infinite access to whatever causes them to basically charge at the highest rate to cover their ass. So, so right that, now, uh, that's why you're paying more. So what you're saying, and and I'm not saying that you're right because I don't know. I just can't figure this thing out. But if you're right, what you're saying is right now everybody is paying more. That basically the low volume users are paying for the bandwidth for the high volume users. Is that what you're saying? Basically. Okay. It's basically as fucked up as healthcare. You, you dropped an F-bomb already. So. It, I said ducked. Ducked up. Ducked. <laughs> ducked. So, I have a lisp. So, right. Yeah, you do have a lisp. Okay, but that's another show. Uh, the, the the Federal Communication Commission has announced it will next month vote on a... Where, where's the feminist part of this? I, wanna, I just want to get to the feminist part of this. Right, right that's, here. Right here. Okay, where, where, which paragraph? I want to get to it. I want to I wanna uh, enjoy it. Without net neutrality... Powerful money, money. Oh brand. yes! Oh well, yes! The there on- it is. The landscape even more than they already do for women, whose online voices are already marginalized at seventy-seven cents of the dollar. Sorry, I just added that. Wait, the loss of- <laughs> I thought that was real. Oh, that would have been awesome if it was real. <laughs> Dang it, that! Come on, uh, ladies, if you're gonna go full femtard, go full ten femtard. Come on, don't have it. Yeah, don't have it. Uh, the loss of open internet is a threat to online agency, autonomy, and representation, power, and wealth. Okay. Uh, many women's and human rights issues, including reproductive rights and abortion, protection against sexual violence and rape, child marriage, domestic violence, gender equality in the workplace, are both controversial and unsavory, as in advertisers don't really want to advertise with it because it doesn't generate money. I added that, too. Oh, because it's... Wait a second... Are you telling it, me there's no that profit. there's no profit in that? So of course advertisers aren't going to want to fucking. Put so what? Ads so what you're saying? Well, you're you're we have to avoid when when we go like official next week. We're we're I don't really care about expletives this week, but when we I know avoid oh, yeah. net neutrality. <laughs> 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 this guy is going to get ticked off, man. He does not yeah. like net neutrality. Uh, I don't. So, uh. <laughs> but. So what they're saying is they're they're upset because the market isn't going to pay for the content that they produce. Uh, now I know you just went through it. Now I'm going to go through it all over again, just this segment, because I'm I'm going to see if I can figure. I can because you read it. You read it fast, and my brain was like, "Those are words. That's good." <laughs> yeah. So without net neutrality, they're saying powerful moneyed brands. That means brands that people buy, by the way. <laughs> Things that are in demand. Things that are in demand, you know. Yeah. Will control and dominate the online media landscape even more than they already do. Okay. Now, okay, now, now this is when we get to the women part. Ready? Okay, I, I got to read this sentence very carefully because I got to take this in. I, you know what? I'm going to go to a solo shot of me right now. And... Uh, Although on Net on uh, Nepal you could still see, uh, oh, actually I went to a solo shot of him instead of me. There you go, there I am, solo yeah, shot of me. So uh, I'm probably losing viewers now because it's a solo shot of me because you you have <laughs> the sweet face of this apparition. So uh, for women whose online voices are already marginalized, was the line you threw in there? Seventy seven cents to every. Man, uh, or 77 minutes for every 100 minutes. I think that's what it is. Every 100 man minutes. Right, every 100 man minutes. Because well online is. voice is already marginalized. How is it that online, the women's online voices are marginalized? I, I'm i not seeing that. If I, I, I don't know if there are as many women that are creating content. I think that's probably the case. I don't know. Some of the ads I run for certain companies... Um, they tend to do well with, like, predominantly females. So they do del- they do well with the ladies. Okay. Uh, when you use cute puppies. Ladies? Oh, you throw in puppies. You throw I throw in puppies. puppies. I go right for the kill. Yeah. Kill yeah, I don't, I, I don't throw puppies, though. So. 
I throw puppies off. Cl- I'm no, sorry. I don't do yeah. that. So the women whose online voices are already marginalized, the loss of the open internet. Dude, there is no open internet. Like, and there is and there isn't. There, uh, there. And then let me ask you this. This is a question I want. Uh, and, and again, I don't, I don't have a clear. I'm like the new. I'm not neutral. I, I, <laughs> I, I believe. First of all, I believe I don't, we don't really have any power to do anything about whatever's going to happen. But I'm interested in 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 the philosophical uh, uh, pursuit of: Is it possible that getting rid of regulations? could actually do more immediate harm for the opportunities to advance liberty than not. That's the question that I think net neutrality yeah, poses to me. It's an interesting, it's an interesting <laughs> philosophical quandary that uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get my head around. But uh, I, th- I think it's obvious. I think, uh, of course, yeah, short term. If you legalized all drugs tomorrow, it would be a fucking, it would be, it, it would be a shit show. For about two years. But in this case, the theory is in this case, the theory is that by lifting the net neutrality limits, that the other regulations that existed before 2015 and that actually were created even after 2015, that they will have a more powerful negative effect on what what any semblance of a free market. Yeah. So repeal those two. Right. Repeal the, that. That. Right. Right. And that's. Uh, that's, but, but the position is you ain't going to repeal those because those are actually harder because they're not like just simple federal regulations that you can knock out at the top. There's a whole bunch of state and local regulations, so you got to go through. But but how anyway, are you ever going to get to those? But my question is this, and is if, if people are watching, uh, I'm a I'm an older gentleman, I'm going to say, and uh, I've been using the interwebs for a while. And I have to say, as far as pricing is concerned, I haven't seen a significant difference, you know, relative to what the dollar is worth, adjusted for inflation, if you will, for my Internet in like a long time. And I'm talking like 99 to now. And this regulation took effect in 2015. What was the what, what, what was going on? And uh, maybe there was something. Somebody can show up and actually say, "No, no, no, this was going on." And I'm like, "Oh, I didn't know anything about that." But what was going on in 2015 that this regulation was created in the first place? I don't know. <clears throat> I don't think anything was going. Nothing was changing. There were there were talks of charging for certain services this actually started when netflix remember the whole netflix debacle they were getting charged more they were actually getting charged by the isps because of how much bandwidth they were sucking up relative to the rest of the network because everyone was streaming movies and shit all the time still still doing it i mean i know uh, I actually, right now upstairs, uh, my wife and daughter are Netflixing together, and they're watching Stranger Things. Yeah, they're 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 doing that. So that's fine. So uh, the 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 idea it's 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 going to allow ISPs or yeah, it's going to allow ISPs. Maybe they could charge you directly, or maybe they could charge the internet provider. Or the, the the service, you know, Netflix, and then they would probably pass the cost on to you. So they're doing that anyway. Are but are they? Or is Netflix doing that if they don't have to pay? They're not paying. That's the theory, they're, right? Yeah, but they actually might be. How do you know they are? I I don't know that they are. I don't know no. that they aren't. They might be. Yeah. So. Uh, I, I, I mean, I, I can't get my head around it, but what, what I really can't get my head around, off of everything that's decent, it's, it's re- reconnected. Okay, great. Why is it that so many people are like, they are shooting bazookas at one another over an issue that nobody has really any control? And certainly not a bunch of anarchists. 
Anarchists Nobody's... have no control. Like, well, hey, unless, of course, are you are you suddenly going to tell me that now? Now suddenly, now I'm for voting, and I'm going to yeah, vote out, that's, that's... and I'm going to go vote for the candidate that's going to support net neutrality. Are you really going down that road? I don't think you are. I mean, some I, I of you think... might, but I hard. I think hardly any of you are. So, so why is it that people are getting so? Like, I, I was trying to have a conversation in a in a thread where with Eric July and 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 actually. My my conversation with Eric was fine, but a couple people join in that thread, and it's like right away, like they started with the oh, is that what you think? Oh, you dig commie or whatever? Because you know I was playing devil's advocate, I, and I tend to do this with this issue. I tend to like so if it's a bunch of people that are pro net neutrality, I'm like okay, I'm gonna kind of explore the kill net neutrality thing, and if it's yeah. there, if they're if they're against net neutrality, then I'm gonna I'm gonna explore the pro net neutrality thing. I'm interested in figuring out where are people coming from. It's fascinating to me actually, but mm-hmm. immediately I get more often than not you get if if I'm if I'm if I'm speaking out in favor of net neutrality, I'm immediately a commie that wants free stuff, and I'm like I've never said that in anything. I'm, I don't. I don't get that. And then on the other hand, if I say that I don't support net neutrality, then I am a corporatist. I am a a a globalist who is just for the corporate government taking over the world. <laughs> That's and I'm yeah. like I'm I'm neither I I'm for none of those things. And and I, even even when I tell people in these threads, I'm like, dude, I don't know enough about this to have a an opinion. And I'm interested to know why people have the very strong opinions that they do. And what really interests me is how is it that so many of you are so certain of your position? Like you even, Bodhi, you're sure. Our friend Ty, he's sure. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't. I don't see it. Maybe, maybe you guys are smarter well, than I'm me. Not, I don't get it. I'm not. Sh- I'm not exactly. I'm not exactly convinced. But uh, I'm not convinced that net tu- net neutrality or any kind of regulation is going to fix anything. Well, I'm sure of that. Yeah, and I'm. I'm. I. I don't know. You know, the law of unintended consequences, especially. Uh, oh, well, Ty is commenting here. Um, let's see what Ty says here. Ty. Uh, that's the thing is hanging out. Hey, I see Larry. Larry showed up. Hey, Larry, what's up? Larry the cable guy. Larry the cable guy. There are already different price gig usages, Ty says. For gig usage, they charge more for unlimited use, but it slows down after some usage. And Christina says, or Christine, sorry, Christine. Um, I don't feel like my voice is marginalized. Well, you know what, Christine? Maybe it should be. I'm just, yeah, maybe it should be. You know what? You're, you're not you're not really producing the amount of ferret pictures that you normally do, so maybe nope. maybe you should be a little bit limited till you can get back on top of that. So so then Ty says, but now they want to control info. That's the part I don't understand. And I've heard Ty talk about this before, the info. I don't know. What do you mean by controlling info? The regs make it harder to stop other ISPs and do not feel like they lose money from bandwidth usage. It is more from the regs and fees. Okay, Ty, I didn't even understand that sentence. I'm sorry. And I don't think it's you. I think it's me. And, you know, maybe that's what it is. Maybe for me, this is like information that my brain is like, no, I'm not going to let you make sense of this, buddy. It's just not going to do it. It's, it's not going to happen for you. It just doesn't make any sense to me because uh, I want to know who they is. I would say the, 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 the small amount of ISPs that control most of the ISPs that – are being provided for in in America right now. Yeah. Caleb says because they take up the most traffic. They lobbied very strongly that there are strong regs and even illegal in 21 states. Yeah, it is a, it's illegal for you to like well in Pennsylvania for instance. Uh what why are there ISPs and why is like Google and Netflix and all of that why are they for net neutrality? Because they're the content providers. The content providers are for net. But here's the, you know, and I did see this from from, uh, Jeffrey Tucker. I saw a Jeffrey Tucker video, which I don't think that he fully addressed some of the concerns enough, to me at least. I played that. I I shared that video. You saw that, that he was on with uh, 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 Corbett. uh, Was it James Corbett, whatever his name is? Yeah, Corbett Report. Yeah, yeah, I love that guy. He's awesome. But uh, 
But the video itself, he, I don't think they really fully went into the, uh, the exploring the other rigs. But, but he, he did make one good point. He's like, you know, the ISPs are for net neutrality. They, the, the, that's his, th- you know, he's saying that they really are for net, net, net neutrality, even though it costs them. Because it's 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 the same story about why it is that mega corporations are in favor of uh, of uh, regulations that actually cost them, and the reason is simple: it keeps out. It, it keeps competition out. It raises the cost of entry. So that's why they're for it. But here, uh, and K- 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 Caleb called me a globalist scum, but he always calls me a globalist scum. That's that's normal. Uh, he said, "My my opinion's uh, strong because they lift, bro." Okay, good, 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 <laughs> Caleb. That's good. And Caleb says, "Because net neutrality serves their interest, right?" Uh, it's just what we said. Net neutrality serves their interest. But I, I, you know, we got stuff on the horizon that is going to totally eclipse, I believe, ISPs and the way that yeah. you're getting your interwebs now. You have fast producing <clears throat> these. Mesh networks and and wireless mesh networks. See, that will be the key. When you have these wireless neighborhood node networks that anybody could set up. And I just did a story on iStake.tv. That's iStake.tv, by the way. Uh, and, well, the only thing I worry about with, with wireless is how easy it's going to be to sniff packets. And, right, and right, Ty. The, 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 okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, go, go ahead. No, go with Ty. So, so, so Ty said the content providers pay the ISPs already. Right, right, they do. So, right, and yeah. that cost comes down to the end user. Yeah, it's being passed on. Yeah, yeah, it's always being passed on. That cost is always being passed on. I don't think anybody has any doubt on that. So, um, I don't know. Uh, I, I, we, we started off. We were talking about the feminist uh, angle. I, I guess, in a nutshell, the feminist angle is so absurd it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, is I, it because I can't even of, run with it in fun because it was so shallow? Is it because of the seventy-seven cents on the dollar they can't afford internet? <laughs> That's it. It's uh, it, 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 it is, it is what it is. If you know, you know, ladies, there's something called Patreon, and. <laughs> uh, and you know, if you're in for it, Patreon or whatever, you know. Yeah, you know. and if you take your panties and wow, you're offer going, them no, an no, we're not, no, no, I'm gonna beat you after the show. So, uh, <laughs> we're just gonna stick. I'm, well, I'm going to stick with Patreon because I'm a decent human being. Okay, I Pant- look I'm look shit. at me, look at me, look at me. I am the decent person now. I am Pant- the decent on. person now. Pantyreon. Uh, Patreon. <laughs> whatever but but there are ways if 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 the if the advertisers don't want to advertise then there are ways for you to generate money but also remember there is something called this is this is something for all of us content providers out there and yeah i'm one of them Bodie, you're one of them it's uh it's it's called the is it called the Pareto curve the Pareto principle uh, it, it's basically it's this this curve that goes like this, like a Pringle. It goes yeah, it goes like this, and and basically what it says is twenty percent of the content of, of whatever system you're looking at, twenty percent will will pretty much dominate the eighty percent of that whatever it is, whether it's twenty percent of the workers to eighty percent of the work, whatever it is, it, it always finds that level, and it gets worse. As it gets to the highest levels, then you have like the highest of the highest, like uh, Wayne, 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 Wayne Gretzky. I, 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 I heard this from Justin Peterson. Uh, it was an interesting factoid. I didn't know this. Uh, Wayne uh, Gretzky is he's the number one scorer all time in the NFL, like not even close. If you, NFL. I mean, in, in the NHL, NHL, not even close. If you take away all of his goals – and you just add up his assist, he still has twice as much points as the next guy. That's how dominant he was compared to everybody else. That's the way life works. So it, whatever content providers there are, whatever uh, businesses there are, that principle, it just seems to keep playing itself out. It's like... The best of the best is like reams ahead of of everyone else. Now the problem is in a, in markets where 
It's well, well, actually, no. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna stand back. I was gonna say the problem is in a managed market, it's not the best of the best that rises in the top. I'm going to stand corrected because a managed market simply creates a different set of rules that that favor a different skill set. So, but still, once again, the people who are able to navigate that system, uh, uh, they're able to rise to much higher levels. And because it's a managed system, it does mean, though, unfortunately, that the legacy from what the best of the best created hangs on to their to their progeny a lot longer than it should. That is one disadvantage. But uh, outside of that. Ladies, if uh, if 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 no one's paying for your content, you know, don't don't be trying to get the government involved to try to pay for your freaking content. Yeah, that's, that's pretty not, messed that's up. That's not even cool, man. That is that's totally lame. Uh, no I, I got a message from Mitch who just said, "Hmm, LOL," because I sent him that link. <laughs> <laughs> With the ice cream. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I sent him the. Uh, the feminist. Uh, oh, so he's like, sorry. "What the?" So I, I don't, I don't know what to say. Or what kind of relationship do we have at this point? I'm feeling awkward. So I, I don't know if you have anything more to say about this. Are we? Have we punched this puppy in the head? Have we. Uh, I hate the FCC. I, I do, I do hate the FCC. I'll just put that out there. Yeah, yeah. I hate, I hate, I hate. This uh, never existed. We should have had what Nikola Tesla imagined. I don't even know what he imagined. Oh, we got more content or comments, and I keep missing them. You know what happens, guys? I miss the comments because this, this stupid thing, it it stops, and then all of a sudden it shoots up. And, uh, oh, Ty's going to send me some info on mesh equipment. Uh, we'll probably end up talking about that in a few of our segments. So um, we have one more segment. I don't know if we're going to do this one more segment or not. If you're up for it, we'll do it. I got 10 minutes. You got 10 minutes? Yeah. You have 10 minutes left. Of your life with me. Uh, for the show, yeah. Okay, well, we won't do the last segment then. doesn't matter. This is just a... Is it in? No, it's, it's okay. I'd rather talk about... I, I actually want to talk a little bit more about our show coming up next week. I want to promote our show, dude. All right, promote it. So, so starting next week, Tuesday, not Monday now, Tuesday, November 5th. I mean, de- December 5th. Don't go back in time on me, man. That'd be freaky. Remember, remember the fifth of. Remember December. the fifth of December. Nothing happened then, so. <laughs> well, something happened every day. There's something, that but revolution, man. Not nothing that inspires us. Yeah, uh, and, and yes, Ty did say. Uh, I guess we all agree the FCC is no good. Okay, see, you know what? We're all coming together, kumbaya. Lovely. So, uh, so next week, starting Tuesday, it's going to be. I wire Pulse Tuesdays, and our segments are going to be, well, we're going to have, that's why I said Lozilla is dead, but Lozilla lives. Lozilla lives as the first segment on Tuesday. So we'll have one or two Lozilla stories, and then we'll do an I Ponder, which will be, uh, you guys know, there's always something floating around on the Facebookeries of the latest insanity, or or maybe Bodie will have, you know, something that's been germinating in his head that he wants to talk about, uh. It'll probably just come out, yeah. Yeah. Well, well, no, we, it won't just come out. We'll 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 agree, that. but before the show, we'll say, "Hey, we're going to cover this." And, uh, <laughs> it might just come out. <laughs> oh, yeah, a lot of things just come out, and you should yeah. clean up afterwards. Uh, and, and then the last segment, which we're not going to get to today, but the last segment is going to be, we're going to end with eye science. So we're going to cover some weird. Hopefully something hopeful, but not necessarily, but mostly something hopeful. Something weird going on in science. I think the uh, the, the story that we didn't get to, which is, uh, where is it here? Uh, the eye science story that I was going to get to was dopamine makes us smart. Oh, this was a, it was so meant to trigger you too. Dopamine makes us smarter than apes. Other ways, happy hormone makes us humans. <laughs> you feel triggered already? Yes. <laughs> I thought you would. <laughs> that reeks of terrible science. I, I know I thought you would I thought you would really well, enjoy that. I had I had I had it I had it out for some flat earthers today. Wait, you 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 kind of uh, did a little dalliance with the flat earthers there for a little while you and John. Nobody realized. Actually, I didn't even realize immediately that you guys were trolling. 
I, yeah. And I'm not even sure that John is totally trolling because John. No, he's not, he believes half the conspiracy. Yeah, yes, John. John. John is. Uh, I mean, he has he's, a Facebook page, Conspiracy Garden. He okay. does. I love John Smith. He's awesome. And he's uh, and when he, when he has some uh, a site to go to, I will definitely have a commercial for him for his Black Rose medals that he's starting. Which is really really cool. Can't wait to see what he does. I have a great idea. Uh, I'm working on uh, once I get my 3D printer a little more calibrated. But um, I want to build puzzles, like 3D. Oh, that's cool. Brain- that's that's cool. That's cool. Uh, and I'm hoping that some of the ones I can figure out with my 3D printer, we can get a high quality production model with higher tolerances. Once I have a proof of concept, yeah. have him make that with metal. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy any, but I'll pray for you. <laughs> <That's-> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'll have a praying hands puzzle. Yeah. So, and when you take it apart, it flips you off. So I want to tell you a little bit more about the show coming up next week, because that, that's what really this is about. Oh, by the way, I will be on tomorrow with Niz, and we are going to do, we did Disassociation Nation, and okay, our last show was not really, we didn't realize it was our last show, so we are going to bring up Disassociation Nation from the dead, it used to be on FBR and radio.com. And we're going to bring it up from the dead just so we can put it out uh, for good. But then Niz is going to be my regular co-host on Wednesday. And on Wednesdays, we're going to be talking Newsfire, a segment called Skynetter, which is like dystopian tech, and then a segment called Liberty Tech, which is is hopeful tech. Uh, And then Thursday, Lou Sander. Lou Sander is going to be doing on the show. You know, right now he's on Freedom Fiends and does, you know, everybody loves Lou. And, you know, the only problem with Lou is he fries his bacon, but I'll live with that. Uh, but but his show, the show with him is going to be a little bit more open because Lou likes to talk about a lot of different things. So, uh, and, and by the way, I, I don't know how well I did, Bodie, but I tried to design shows around what I knew the host liked to talk about. So yeah. I'm, I'm hoping I did okay there with you. But for Lou... It's and these are his phrases. I took his phrases, and I don't know if he invented. I don't think he invented these phrases, but he uses it so much. It's like it's a loo. Uh, there's the the one. The first segment is called shorter leash. Second segment is longer leash, and the third segment is off the leash. Ooh. Yeah, and then Mondays. That's that's when we have Professor Rambo, and we have Full Auto, which is all about guns. Guns. That'll be good. And then iWorld, we look at some weird world news stories that you may not be getting exposure to in the MSM. We're going to talk a lot of Greece and Turkey because uh, Professor Rambo loves to talk about Greece and Turkey. <laughs> and uh, and then the last segment for that he's is going to he, – he, he's Greek, yeah. Yeah, I knew he was Greek because and, of how much he hated the Turks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he does not like yeah. the Turks. Yeah. And then the no. last segment for that is kind of cool. It's called I Prepper. So Ooh. Talk, talk prep stuff. So on that note, dude, do you have anything else to say? If our, I mean, this is our. Do we have like? Should we have like a? I don't know. Like a. I mean, this is. I, I'm going to go back to the Lozilla logo here, so everybody can see. There we go. We're back at the Lozilla logo. This is, like, it's been. Is it dead or is it just been? How how do we how do we view it? Um, I'm not going to do much with it. No, it's it's a segment on this show every Tuesday. Oh, oh, <laughs> it's not dead. But I'm saying, how do we view it? It's like it's been absorbed by the pulse. Yeah, it's been absorbed by the pulse. We're yeah. basically consolidating to a platform to make all of our content more accessible and working together and helping each other grow better than having individual pages. Even though we still have individual pages. Oh but, yeah, we'll put stuff on all those individual pages yeah. too. Yeah, but it's just bringing all our efforts together and and giving Paul some busy work. Yeah, give me some, you know, and, and I love doing graphics. I love doing graphics. <laughs> you got just, a You've gotten a lot better. Yeah, I've gotten a lot better. And uh, I, 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 honestly, if, if, if I could just do graphics all the time, I'd probably do that. If somebody would pay me to do graphics, I would totally do graphics all the time. So, Lozilla actually started exactly, well, not exactly. Yesterday was exactly one year ago that we did our first, first Lozilla. Yep. And we had, uh, it was James Weeks, it was uh, Jeremy Hengler, and Dylan Robinson, myself, and Bodie. I think that was the first. Wasn't Niz? Was Niz on that first one, too? I don't remember. Remember the chicken suit? Okay, yeah. Oh, right. I mean, I know he was on, he was part of that regular when we did it 
for those first few weeks where we did it regularly before we were like, uh, this isn't working. This isn't working. You know, actually, what happened with Lozilla was something I did not do for this show, if you've noticed. With yeah. Lozilla, I was like, I'm trying to get everybody. Let's get the input of everyone. I was like, no, no, I'm just doing it, man. I'm inviting people to join me in this. Play the strengths. Cut the weaknesses. Don't overload the audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, but it was, it was a good experiment. It, I learned a lot from it. And uh, I still love the Lozilla concept. That's why we're still doing a Lozilla segment. Because Lozilla, to me, is everybody, you know, everybody's so serious all the freaking time. And everything, you know, every, you know, liber liber libertarians, anarchists, all, you know. All I, still, I still want to do a Trollzilla. I, we I want to do a Trollzilla. It, it, I also have, I have the domain name, and it's in the back of my head. I, I mean, if, 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 if you want to do something with it, you're free to, too. Um Polezilla, well, I want to like totally troll political stuff, but like not talk yeah. about it in any kind of mainstream way, like a totally stupid, ridiculous way. Perfect. Yeah. So yeah. on that note, I think. Uh, what do you think? We're we're. I think we're, I think I think uh, this is a this is a show. This is this is a show. I'll be anxious mm -hmm. for you to see the video of my graphics and all that because you didn't see any of that stuff. Uh, I checked it out quickly. Oh, but... Okay, good. Mm. All right, so thank you everyone who joined us such as it is, and uh, I will see you tomorrow on, I don't know if I'm going to air from my personal page. I may do a brief little test tomorrow in the daytime to see if I can get the live leap crap to work right. But yeah. if I can get it to work right, then, it'll be, then it will be aired on my personal page, on Liberty Principle page, as well as uh, the iState TV, and possibly Napa and uh, the Agora as well. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, All right. we're we're Audi six thousand. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow at nine p.m. on the last ever episode of Disassociation Nation. <sighs>